the good news is that they can cut, they can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by 30% just following the traditional Mediterranean diet. They do not need to do a very dramatic change, but to introduce healthy uh, fats from uh, vegetable sources, natural vegetable sources, such as extra virgin olive oil and nuts, uh, especially walnuts, and they uh, will obtain a reduction in the risk of heart disease. Usually, medical doctors, when, 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 when they want to give you uh, advices for improving your health, always are very demanding. They demand effort, suffering, <laughs> some kind of sacrifice. You have to cut your consumption of uh, alcohol or to increase your physical activity and so on. And, but mm, very, very seldom you can find a medical doctor telling you in order to improve your health, you need to do something which is pleasant, which is tasty, and which has a big potential for acceptability and sustainability in the long term by the population. So you are right. This is a very generalizable message, a very a widely accepted pattern of eating. It is a popular, it is in fashion to follow the Mediterranean diet. It is tasty and so you can enjoy it. And at the same time that you enjoy the food that you eat, you are preventing the major cause of death in the world. My advice is to reduce your consumption of red meats, processed meats, and to increase your consumption of fresh fruits as the usual dessert, olive oil, virgin olive oil, and walnuts. To cut your risk hmm, for uh, developing a myocardial infarction, a stroke, or death from cardiovascular causes by 30%. We have also shown in a subset of participants in the PREDIMED trial that you reduced your risk of developing the metabolic syndrome or diabetes, type 2 diabetes. We have also in another study that I, in the principal investigator is called the Seguimiento Universidad de Navarra, the University of Navarra follow-up study, SUN, S-U-N, SUN study that uh, we have shown that it reduced the risk of developing depression. We published this uh, two and a half years ago in the Archives of General Psychiatry, now JAMA Psychiatry. And also uh, we have found that the risk of infertility is reduced in women who better adhere to a Mediterranean dietary pattern and also the risk of developing obesity or overweight, gaining weight. All these are advantages that has been, have been proven by observational studies on the Mediterranean diet. But the only the unique finding of this study published today is that uh, this is an, a randomized trial and uh, demonstrate uh, a strong reduction in the risk of heart disease and vascular disease. I am happy to release these results here at Loma Linda University because here in Loma Linda University where, where was the, the place where the, the results of the first studies on nut consumption and reduced risk of heart disease were found. And they were reported tw 20 years ago. Now the loop closes and here we are again with new first-class evidence supporting those results from 20 years ago. This is based on a randomized clinical trial, a large trial when with 7,500 participants. There is one of the largest trials ever conducted in nutrition, and the endpoint was composed of hard clinical events. Yeah. We, we observe cases of myocardial infarction, stroke, and death from cardiovascular causes. And they were reduced by 30% with these diets based on the Mediterranean concept of a plant-based diet with little amounts of meat also, but from poultry instead of red meat, and with a lot of fat, but from vegetable sources. We were happy with these findings because this is good news. But 
they were somewhat expected because the observational previous studies that didn't, didn't use the randomized design, they have good evidence supporting the benefits of the Mediterranean diet already. So these were the expected results. But this is the first time that a large randomized cl clinical trial with this good evidence that is, is usually available only for uh, pharmacological treatments, not for diets, n now has produced these results. This is the first time that we have such a good results for a large clinical trial from a large clinical trial with diet as the intervention. This is one of the happiest days of my life <laughs> because uh, you see uh, this is a, a landmark study that is going to change uh, the worldwide guidelines regarding what a healthy diet is. So for us it is a uh, um, great opportunity to provide this uh, evidence for the world community to improve their heart and to their uh, health and to improve the, the, their healthy lifestyle and to reduce the risk of heart disease that is the number one killer in the world.